Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm a Stratasys Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create multiple contour custom groups. This feature can be used to make your parts much stronger. For example, if you need to tap holes or press fit threaded inserts or bushings, this feature can help improve the lifespan and strength of your part. So I'm going to slice this part here and I'm also going to add tool paths. It's always good practice to go to top view when you're dealing with custom groups and always remember to shade your toolpaths as well. So I'm up here at the top layer and as you can see the raster fill creates a bunch of air gaps that make your part weak. This can all be fixed with a multiple contour custom group. So to make a multiple contour custom group we need to go to our toolpaths menu, custom groups, and before we can make a new group we need to measure our wall thickness. And the reason we do this is to make sure that we have a nice solid fill on our part. So I'm going to measure the height here and I get 0.1. Now if I was making a regular custom group, I would come in here to make a new group and I would divide 0.1 by 2, which would give me 0.05. So I would come down to my drop down list and you'll notice that 0.05 is out of range for single contour mode. That's why we need to switch to multiple contours. Now, we need to select two for our number of contours because one was not enough. So two contour mode means that's going to be two passes for every boundary curve. Now, that means we have to divide 0.1 by 4, which will give us 0 0.025, and that is within range. And now I can add this section to the group and as you can see we have a nice solid fill now and I mentioned before that it's four passes so one two three and four and although this looks perfectly filled there's one more thing we can do to make this even stronger if we hit the modify button you'll notice under contour controls there's a feature called link contours so you select this feature you can see what it does so before the tip was stopping before every pass and moving over. Now it's just going to be one continuous toolpath, kind of like a swirl effect. So that helps keep things tighter knit and it actually builds faster too. Now the final step is to add the rest of that area to the group. So I'm going to go to ISO view. I'm going to select the top layer as the top of the range. And I know layer 26 is the bottom of the boss, so I'm going to select that as my bottom. And I'm going to view the range, and now I can add the rest of that area to the group. And I'm going to regenerate the toolpaths. And as you can see, the bosses are now in that custom group. Although it looks like we're done here, there's still a couple areas that we can make stronger. And that's these areas right here. If I go to the bottom layer, you'll notice that the raster around this hole is causing some weak areas. This can mean trouble if you're trying to press fit a threaded insert or a bushing. We can use multiple contours to make this stronger. So I'm going to make a new group, and I'm going to select multiple contours, and just to see what it looks like, I'm going to add 10 and I'm going to add this layer to the group. Now notice how it did add the contours for the holes but it also added it for this outer boundary. If you don't want that there's a feature called apply contour style to select a feature only. And I'm going to remove this and now I can select just the holes and notice how just the holes have the uh, 10 contours. And the last step is to add the rest of the layers. So I'm going to set layer 1 as my bottom and layer 25 as my top. I'm going to view the range. I'm going to do it in top view so I don't accidentally grab the outer boundary. And although it looks like I'm only grabbing one layer, when I hit add and I go to ISO view, you notice that I just grabbed the holes. 
I'm going to regenerate. And now all those layers have the extra contours. Okay? That is the end of my tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching.